its meat. And yes, today we're not having a whiskey and not having a gin. It's the Brugal 1888, which is uh, a rum. Uh, yeah, where to begin? Yes, we started with rum in our German shop and now we're actually, I'm getting into the reviews. I've done a lot of reading about it to yeah, be knowledgeable about rum and yeah, I've had a talk with uh, a brand ambassador about well, the special bottle. So I'm really feeling a bit like 2015 when I joined the, the, the YouTube channel for my father and I still have to explain myself why I'm competent to take talk about this bottle. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I've talked a lot about uh, with the brand ambassador about this bottle and he told me a little bit of facets and he has a lot of thinking going, going even into the bottle. So let's, so where do we begin? Yeah, it's a rum. It's made of molasses. There's a bit of a difference between sugarcane rum and molasses rum. The guys from the sugarcane say, yeah, we use the pure sugarcane, the natural material, and molasses is just waste, so you're using waste material. The guys from molasses actually say, molasses is what's left from the sugar production. Still has sugar, but not enough sugar to produce sugar out of it. But there are all the, the bitterness and all the spiciness that is actually inside the sugar cane is concentrated in the molasses with a bit of sugar as well. So when you ferment that, you have much, uh, much, yeah, uh, kind of an alcohol that has more bitterness and more spiciness and you can then distill out much, much of the bitterness and have spiciness and you have more flavors to work with. That's the the saying of the people from the molasses and yeah there's an ongoing discussion and nobody's really right nobody's really wrong it's just two different styles of uh, rum yeah nearly said whiskey so what is the brugal 1888 uh, brugal is actually the name of the family that runs the distillery and 1888 is the founding of the distillery so the distillery runs it for or the brugal family runs the distillery for um five generation and now um, they are actually part of the Edrington Trust. So I'm not quite sure how the family ownership and that kind of stuff works, but well, that's what they told me. They are fifth generation Brugal in there. And now there is actually a woman as their master distiller or the Mast Mastra Romera. It's Yasil Villaneva. Villaneva, I'm not quite sure how to say that. Let's just call her Yasil. I think that's a good name. And uh, yeah, she's the first woman as the master distiller and she's responsible for the taste. And yeah, well, let's have a look how good of a job she does. I'm not quite sure if that is very old. Maybe that's still from her predecessor. So <laughs> we don't know that. Uh, but I think master distiller or, or her title also means that she is not just for the distilling part, but I think she's also part of a responsibility to pick yeah, casks and uh, say when they're ready for bottling. Uh, rum is a bit different from Scotch whiskey. Here we have a uh, maturation of up to eight years in ex bourbon cast, so that can be eight years or younger. And then we have six years um, of ex sherry cast maturation, but it's also up to six years. Yeah, that is yeah, the difference to uh, Scotch whiskey, where you have, there you have minimum ages and here you have maximum ages which you know, is a bit strange in terms of spiciness and the whole thing about high easters high easters are the ones that have that bitterness and that spiciness to that these uh, rums this one is uh, with 40 hours of fermentation so it's definitely not a high easter rum so it should be more of a, a mild one with a whole maturation of up to 14 years should be a sweet one and uh, very yeah uh, wood intensive one, uh, oak intensive one, I would say. So yeah, um, did I miss anything? Yeah, in terms of maturation, we have totally different maturation from what we know of um, Scotland, and still a lot different from what we know of Kentucky or pretty much all the other, um, yeah, normal mild climate continental climate maturations because this year is on the the island of hispaniol that's dominican republic so you have the hispaniol island which is part in haiti and 
uh, Dominican Republic. This is Dominican Republic and that's on the north coast and yeah, it's tropical and very warm. So difference to like, let's say India would be that it is uh, very tropical, very humid. And that helps a little bit with the angel share, but they still have tons of angel share compared to what we know from Scotland. A bit of humidity helps, but it doesn't help as much as, as lower temperatures. Oh, very, very, very sweet. It has that really that distinctive rum character that you know and love from, let's say, baking or maybe you are into that rum. So, but as I predicted, a very, very oak intensive. You have that strong vanilla caramel character combined with that specific sweetness that we know from the rum. And yes, there is a bit of a, a sherry, a sherry influence. So it's a maximum sweet. This is a, a maximum sweet spirit. Mm. 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 Oh, the raisins tons of raisins very sweet tons and tons of raisins this really feels like baking this is the the typical caribbean rum uh, that we know and love and in a in a very intense way i've had a few well, let's say a few well, 50 or 50 of the rums they were like really spicy ones but most of them were lighter and i don't think i had any one of uh, them the heavier on the oak so yeah this might be a bit similar i don't want to say scotch because uh, you could say like a 30 year old whole px cask maturation with a really fresh cask and you'd have a little bit of similarity here but this feels like a bit of a uh in terms of intensity you can feel it with like a 10 year old bourbon like one of these old bourbons they have the intensity but they don't have that kind of sweetness. Bourbon is sweet, but this one is sweeter. Mm. 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 Oh, I like it. Mm. I like it. Mm. But it's still, mm, when you have it your second time, you feel the, the spices coming up and... Mm, going around in your mouth and it's whew, interesting what is that these are definitely these baking spices but what kind of spices are they i wanted to say cinnamon because i love the smell and i love cinnamon but it's not cinnamon it's something i just say baking spices because i can't pick it out it's it has a good amount of complexity there is in this kind of spiciness there is complexity strangely enough when you have it from your right distance from your nose you feel a little bit what i would consider these high easters so high easters high easter um, rums are considered uh when you have like i don't know a week of fermentation or at least three or four days um, but you can still get a bit of these flavors when you have uh, yeah, spicy the molasses as the base and you have um, a good yeast and you can still get a little bit of that in during the 48 40 hours of fermentation mm. 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 oh I do like it mm. yeah nice rum I think yeah it's it's not a very high priced rum. It's not a very low priced rum. This is like for rum that is more of a mid range. It's around 40 bucks. And yeah, if you happen to live in the Netherlands, then you can actually buy this on whiskey.com. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.